Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, happy Friday. Today we're going to be doing the next stage, pack 2 of the Hashet Partworks and the Gora Models release of Build the Geiger's Alien. <laughs> Now remember, if you're in the UK and you want to get this, you can get this through Hashet Partworks, and I have put the description to Hashet Partworks and the web link just in the video description there. If you're in the US, then you can get this from Agora Models once again. The Agora Models link is down there as well. Now, as you can see in the last stage, we actually did the inside head section here with the jaw, which we have there. We also did the first bit of skin, which is held on by magnets, funny enough, onto this interior here. And then we did have the jaw. Now we're going to be working a lot more on the head today. And I believe there's a lot more uh, stuff that we're going to be adding to the parts that we've just put on here. But so uh, this should be quite a fun thing to do. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all going to start in stage five. And again, all these uh, parts come in these brown packages here. We've done four stages in pack one. So today we're going to be doing the skull and appendages. That's what this stage is called. And we've got this part of the skull, which mirrors exactly what we've done here. As a matter of fact, I think this is actually going to attach to that section there. We'll check that out in a second. I have some screws and all of these sections here are the appendages, which is like a rubbery material this is. So I was absolutely right. The first thing we're actually going to be doing is taking the headpiece here and attaching this piece just on the bottom here. So I'm lining up these lug holes, put that in, whoops, like that. And they're going to be held in with these screws that come in this pack. That's one. Certainly makes this headpiece very big. <laughs> and this one's two. It's now just a case of putting all of these appendages into place. Now these are like a rubbery material. And the first one's actually going to go on this side here, just like that. It fits into the indent really well, but we do need to glue these in. So let me get some glue prepared. So this is the first piece that's going to go in. I'm just going to put some glue just on this edge here. Again, people are wondering what I'm actually applying this with. It's just a pin vise with a pin stuck in the end. It's nothing uh, <laughs> magical. <laughs> so I just put some glue both sides. Hold that in place and it's going to stick no problems at all. Take the next piece and again just check we've got this round the right way and it should follow that line going down the head here. So again more glue. This time I think to make it tidier I'll actually just put glue directly into the channels this is going to stick and that's that one in. Next one looks like that. Same deal and just keep continuing down going up in numbers, doing exactly the same thing. So this is the next piece here, which looks like that. I'm always doing a dry fit just to check these. And then the last one on this side's got a little light bend in it, as you can see there. So get that one in as well. And there we go. That's what it looks like all the way down that side. The last two sections we've got are just going to go along this edge here. So this is again a dry fit, but this is going to go in like that. So again, I get the glue ready for that. So these pieces sort of like push up into this little cavity there. So like that. And we do exactly the same for the last piece I'm about to put in here. Including the little dot that's just down here. I might find it easier to actually put it upside down there to make sure everything's gone in. Just pushing that nice and hard, making sure they're all in. Excellent. There we go. That's all in place, and that is all there is to do in that stage. <laughs> In stage six, we've got a section of the head that we're going to do. Very large section of the head, as you can see there. I'm going to put all this to one side because we need 
this part of the jawline that we were working on before and I just want to take off this side panel here because I have a washer to put in. This is what the washer's looking like, which is going to go into this gap just here. So push that in and make sure it fits like quite flush in there. This is why we didn't want to glue these side pieces in. And then once that's in place, we can just re-put the top section in over the top here. Again, not gluing it in place, but we should have this coming out the other side here. We can put that to one side, bring over this headpiece. And once again, we've got these appendages to put in. The first one's just going to go into the middle here. It's the largest one like that. So once again, we're going to glue this into place. I think it's apparent that I don't actually use lots of glue for this. Just enough to keep this in. Rubber tends to bond to this plastic quite well. Excellent. Then I've got a thinner piece here, which again, I'm just going to line up. This one's going to be going just on top there. More glue. There we go. That's two in. I've got this smaller one with two pins at the bottom, which is going to go underneath there. Make sure it's this way round. So at this side, as you can see, we've got all the blank sections coming out. We've got two sections here, which we're not actually using in this stage. I'm going to put them to one side because that's the end of that stage. <laughs> On stage seven, we've got the center left section of the head. Again, a massive piece, this one. And lots more of these appendages, some really thick ones this time. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to increase the size of this by attaching what we've just created to the new piece here. So this is just going to go over the top of this section like this. Get that pushed down into place. And once again, this comes with the screws that we need to join this together. Three screws this time, get this into place. Now some of the parts from last time we had, namely this one here first, that's going to be going over this section here. So it's going to fit directly on top like this actually let's get it the right way around so for this one i think i will put the glue around the inside edges here now if this is facing towards me here then i want this to fit on top of this section so this little detail that you can see there is facing towards me i'm just going to hold that into place and then in the little channel that's coming out from underneath that i've got the other piece from the last stage which is just going into here And we want it so that the larger flat side is facing outwards. So this is going to go in this way, like that. I'm going to turn this upside down because I've got these larger pieces here. And they're going to be going on the blocks that we can see here. So I'm just going to lay these out as they go. So they should fit kind of like that. I've done this as a dry fit. So it's time to glue these in. So the first piece I've got, 7.2, looks like this. Let's get that on. Then 7.3. And finally, 7.4 at the end here. Got a couple more of these appendages to put on. This one looking like that is going to be going into this section just here. So again, some glue in these channels. Lots of uh, gluing in this pack. Then we've got this little piece just going at the back. Probably not making it apparent on the video, but I do test fit or dry fit everything first to make sure it's going to fit fine. They've got this large appendage here. Look, check that one out. Very flexible this one is. This is going to be going into the point just here. So the end goes over this section and then it's following the route down. So get this glued in. Perfect. And then once again, we do have a piece left over looking like that. This is seven, eight. We don't actually use that in this stage. In stage eight, we've got the front right section of the head. So it's very similar to what we've just been doing. Right down to the point of getting the washer again. Whoops, which I've just dropped. Bringing over the jaw again. And we're going to be putting the washer just in this side.
making sure it goes all the way through and then once again closing up the other side here by putting the side back on. Now even though we know that these pieces are going to go on here they don't actually want them still glued into place so I'm going to leave it like that for now. But once again we have got more appendages. God, this whole thing is all about appendages which are going to go into place. So I think this time what I'm going to do is just do a dry fit to show you where everything's going to go on here. We're going to have that one in there. We've got the smaller version just going on top. Make sure it's around the right way there. And then just like we've done on this side here, we've got the smaller piece, which has got the two prongs going in this way here. So that on the other side, it looks like we've got all the open ends. So I'm gonna get those three glued into place. There we go, nice simple stage. They're all in like that. Two pieces left over, just like last time. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage nine, again, exactly like we did last time. We're gonna be putting both sides of the head together that we just did before. Get these more appendages out here. So, once again, get this lined up. This section here is gonna be going on top here, on top of this section here. And push it into place like that. Got the screws, three screws to put this into place. So that's one whole piece. They're ready to add the appendages to. So again, these first two slots that we've got here are the ones that we had from the last stage. So get some glue on these. We do want this little square section to be facing towards me. So this one's gonna go in like this. I'll make sure that fits all the way into that cavity there. And then just like last time, I'll do a dry fit on all of this section here, just to confirm I've put these around the right way. We've got this one going in the middle, this one on this end here, and this one going in there. So once again, I'm gonna glue all of these into place. And there you go. That's all in, that's all there is to do in that stage. Once again, we do have this piece left over. <laughs> In stage 10, it's the head and neck, which means more appendages. <laughs> so again, I'll do a dry fit of these just to show you how they go. We want this piece here, which is gonna be going at the bottom here. Again, this is very mirrored like we did last time. This small piece here at the end, it's gonna go in here. The larger piece here will be going on that side there. And we are left with these two sections here, which we're not doing anything with at the moment. So I'll get these glued in. And there we go, that's another one done. Keep that to one side, because the last thing we've got to do is take this metal ring section here. This is the slot washer for the neck. We've got a rubber top on this, which we do want to just put into the bottom of this piece here. Make sure it's fitting flat. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Stage 11 is the penultimate stage here of the uh, neck. So we are going to be assembling all the pieces which is going to provide the articulation for this. All of this is metal, as you can probably hear. What I'm going to do is take what we had last time with that rubber washer we've just put in. I'm going to be putting this shaft in. So that's going to go all the way to the bottom like that. I've got another rubber grommet, which is going to go in the top, which is going to provide friction resistance to that over the top like this here. And then I'm going to want to take the top of this and screw this into place. That will push everything down. And we do want this ball joint to be as stiff as we can get it. Otherwise, we're going to have a bad time. I don't know if it's going to let me turn this with a screwdriver. A little bit. <laughs> that's quite stiff. So I'm happy with that. And that's in place there. Now we do have this little pin, 
and a plastic base here, but that is all there is to do in that stage. So the last stage in this pack, stage 12, we're going to be doing the head and skull one, they're calling this. So let's do this. What we need is the plastic plate from last time. We need the neck joint, which is nice and stiff. That's all going to be going into this section just here. So match up the shape. So that's going to fit flush in there. And then match up the shape on the other side of this. So we know that that's going to go on this just like that there. Screw it in with the screws that come in this pack. These are the black screws that there's many of, and I'll get all four of these screws in place. There we go. And that's all done. Put that to one side, and now we need the uh, bearings going onto the lower jaw piece, which is this one here. One bearing on each side, one here, all the way on, and the other side there. Bring over the left side of the head, this one here, and I want to put this into the hole that we got there, just like that. So that the bearing goes all the way into that point there. I had to push that quite hard. Now this part of the jaw, the slot here is going to be going into that section there. This gap here is going to be towards the back, and these lug holes are going to be going underneath these points here. So I'm going to approach it from the bottom get this in like that perfect this part of the jaw should be able to sit on that section there then going to be taking the other side of this and then just matching that off to what we've just done so again make sure the bearing goes in at the front make sure this piece slots in to this side And there we go, everything looks to be perfectly in place there. I'm going to be using these same screws to now screw those pieces into place. Line up the back section as well and get these in. So, we got three at the back. And then we've got two on each section here, which is holding in the neck piece there. And then just do the two on this side. So now that's done. I'm going to be taking this jaw section. I have taken these side pieces off now, which we put the washers in on each side because they are going into the insides of these here. So I'm just going to line them up just like that. But we do want to keep this into place. So I've got these large screws again just to screw in from this side on both sides. So one that side and one just this side here. Now as you can see this is now on the pivot of the middle here so that can go up and down like that. When we're happy with how that looks, we can now take these sections here and glue them into place. And then just do the same on the other side here. So that is looking like that. Turn it upside down and we're going to be putting these appendages in here. This one's going to slide over the end here and this end, which has got sort of like a... Uh, a lug on the end is just going to go into the hole at this end here. Sort of hangs down like that. I am going to glue that into place and then just do exactly the same on the other side. Now you see we had this pin last time that looks like that. Temporarily we're just going to be putting that into the hole here so we don't lose it. So I'm just going to keep that there for the minute. It's not staying there, just so you know. And then if you notice, we do have this pack of screws, which has only got two screws in it. 
get one of those out, bring over what we worked on in the first pack here, and you will notice that we have got a little hole just here, which is going to house this little adapter. Now that's going to go on this way into position here and using one of those screws I just showed you to keep that into place there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Massive section we've created there. And as you can see, it's massive. <laughs> I use that word quite a lot. Eventually this is, I'm guessing, going to go on top here somehow. Don't quite know how. We'll figure that one out. <laughs> I've got to try it. I've got to try it. I've got to figure out how this is going to go. So stand by. I'm thinking it goes like that. <laughs> this is probably going to be what the thumbnail is going to be. So uh, not looking too bad. This hasn't been put in place yet. But uh, yeah, pretty impressive. <laughs> Let me put this down gently. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description for the Hashet Partworks website and the Agora Models website, depending on your location. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.